Hey there everyone. So we're going to do another build. Uh, we're going to do the A-Wing from Return of the Jedi. Um, it's a pretty cool ship. Lots of cool colors, lots of cool misting, lots of cool different um, panel colors. Uh, these are pictures from the Chronicles book that I'm using as some reference um, along with some pictures that I got online. Um, like I said, there's a lot of cool, uh, weathering on it. Um, a lot of details. The colors are really cool. It's an actually, for studio scale, it's actually a very large ship. So, I'm not a huge fan of the size of it, but it's the size they use for the movie. Um, they have, a this damage on the wing which is apparently it's just like a slide over piece that goes on top of it it's aluminum foil on a styrene I don't think I'm gonna do that um, here is a McCory style um, a wing which luckily enough I'm getting a, a model made by John Simmons coming soon um, looking forward to seeing that to kind of compare and to display with this as well. Um, oh, wrong way. That's the B-Wing. Oh, there's only these pictures. Okay. I thought there were more. But we're going to put some lights in it, like in the cockpit and on the thrusters. Um, it's a large ship. Um, I have the uh, Nysen model kit. Which, um, if you've ever worked with a nice and model kit, it requires a lot of attention, a lot of work, a lot of cleanup. Um, and as usual, 90% of the time, there are a lot of pieces missing. So we're going to have to uh, scratch build a few things. Um, I'm actually waiting for extra pieces from John Simmons. He's going to send me a few. But I feel like I'm going to end up needing to uh, add some Greeblies from my stash of uh, model kits. Um, I've already cleaned these up. Uh, I've already taken off a lot of the... Let's see if you can see this right here. There's a lot of like extra resin that you have to clean up. But that's on the bottom. It don't matter. Um... And on the inside, you can see there's a lot of stuff I cut off just to get it together. Um, there's two shells. They have a armature that goes inside like so. And then you can mount it from the back from either side if you want to or from the front. Um, I'll be honest, I I know some people would like to display it from the side, so you can see the front, the top and the bottom, which is cool, but I'm only gonna display it from the bottom, the bottom mount down there. Um, it's gonna be a lot of work, a lot of gluing and stuff, and epoxy and filling and, um, which I don't enjoy, but it's part of the deep part of the process. Um, I have, I think I have most of the main pieces, uh, you know, like the, the cans and I'm pretty sure I have most of the pieces. Okay. So like here, I gotta fix that. It's going to have use some, uh, styrene and fix that. Um, but like there's no, thrusters, there's no greeblies, like it's just bare, and I've done a Slave 1, which had more greeblies, but still missed a lot, so it's kind of frustrating, you pay a lot of money for these kits, and uh, I mean, it, it, it could have got lost somewhere between buying from one person to another, but this many uh, 
this many nice and kits that have missing pieces is kind of frustrating. So what we're gonna make do, make it work, and uh, I'm gonna show the process. I, uh, like I said, I already cleaned these pictures pieces up. Next, I'm gonna give them a nice warm bath to um, get the mold release off, which is something I really struggle with. I get like a lot of, I struggle with that. I scrub it a couple times with warm soapy water. I take um, paint thinner, I take Simply Green to try to get some of it off, but um, it always ends up biting me in the ass. I always end up, you know, repainting things because it doesn't come off for me. I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but I do. Um, so like here's the, here's the cockpit and it just sits in there and then you have your, your um, pilot, which he needs a little bit of cleanup in there too. Um, he just sits in there with no arms, man. Um, I mean, it's going to be a lot of work, but it'll be worth it once it's done. Um, that goes from the bottom. That goes the bottom up. But we're going to make it work, and we will uh, keep showing the process. Um, all right. Talk to you soon. So, right now, I am just rescribing some panel lines. Um, they're on here, but they're, they need to be um, cut a little deeper so that they show up when you're, um, when you're painting. It'll show up as better detail. Um, and uh, what I use is... A, the back of exact a dull exacto knife um and uh i just i just go in and re-scribe through the lines on the back of my my exacto knife um just to just to gouge them out a little more um and then i'll use a pencil to just mark the ones that i've already done because you can get confused a little bit and see you can over go over them a couple times um, also on the side here, we're going to redo these pipes with some, cause they're all busted off. They're, they're not all the way through. That's from the mold. Um, also if you can look closely, you can see little, um, uh, bolt, um, holes for the panels. I'm going to actually go through in with a, a small little hand twisting drill to um, make those a little bit more noticeable. Uh, and um, that's what I'm doing right now, just cleaning out some scribe lines. I've got most of this. All right, so we're back. Um, so we have glued both sides together. Um, Epoxy did actually. Um, inside, you can see the armature goes through the center, down through the bottom hole, okay? And basically, right now, I've only epoxied in these, um, right here, these uh, pegs together. I'm going to reinforce that a little better later. Um, and I still need to glue these edges together, which... Um, and also, front, front needs to get drawn in. Um, also, we need to put a piece of styrene down the middle there, down inside there to block off that area. And, um, yeah. So, also, what we did was we, I, we, I, um, Painted the inside of there dark so that you won't see the bottom of the cast because pretty much your um, your uh, pilot sits right in there. There's a piece that goes on the back here. So um, with the resin kit, sometimes you have things break. Um, this came broken. I have to uh, scratch build something on there to 
finish fix that corner make it look more like that side um, also what I did was I scratch built underneath there inside you can see down in there I scratch built there's an opening there and I'm not 100% sure if um, it comes with a part I'm still waiting for some pieces from somebody um, that I was missing because don't have any of the small greeblies and bits and pieces. Um, another little tip for you guys is I'll insert some pictures into the video. Um, so basically right here, there are some cast pipes, pipes that are cast in the resin. Okay, and what I did was I cut them off because they were missing sections in it. And then um, also along the edge here too as well on this edge um, what I'll do is I will use uh, jeweler wire jeweler's wire uh, it's really thin bendy really easy to bend it comes in different sizes um, to get that angle that I want down here it's gonna go out over and up um, I already took the time to bend those up because that's boring to watch and um, what I'll do is I'll just glue those in place if I could actually pick it up with my big fingers um, glue those right there um, for the bend ones that ha have an angle on them you I use the uh, jeweler wire and for ones that have straight that are just straight pieces I'll just use styrene rods a uh, big pack of these from amp from uh, ebay that are uh, you know real cheap or you can get them at a at a hobby store a little more expensive but i got this whole pack i think for like five dollars a whole bunch of different sizes um and then i'll glue those right in there uh there's a couple of them on here i gotta finish up um another thing that i did was i added LED lights, um, which I'm an electrician, so it's pretty easy for me, but it's actually really a lot simpler than you think it is. So you can buy these pre-made LEDs on Amazon or, or um, eBay, and basically you have a positive and a negative, and they come in different voltages. You can have nine volt to 12 volts, um, low voltage DC watt, watt, uh, power and you have a positive and a negative usually the positive is red usually the negative is black but for some reason this company they made the brown positive I don't really know why um, you just and then I bought these off Amazon they're little so, they're little solderless connections okay and they come in this pack I bought this pack on uh, Amazon for 20 bucks I think if that and what it is it's a little plastic sleeve that you twist the wires together um, and then here, I'll just give you a kind of a little example of what you do so take the wires obviously you wouldn't put the same ones together but um, this is you would use this is the negative and positive but I'm just showing you how to do it just to for example, you just take these wires and you twist them together, like so. Okay. Don't pull too tight because they'll slide apart. You slide this back over and you heat it up with a heat gun. And what it does is it's this this plastic seals on there and then the, the little uh, bit of solder in there will heat up and then melt onto the, into the wire and give you a good connection. Like I did here and here so simple i mean really it's it's really simple and um as for 9 volt tw through 12 volt it really doesn't matter because um these are 9 to 12 volt leds so if you're using a 9 volt power supply the lights are dimmer if you use a 12 volt power supply the lights are brighter so you can choose what how bright you want your lights to go like sometimes if you if you're using 12 volts, 
it'll be too bright and it'll be too overpowering and it won't look right compared to your model. It'll just wash, make things too bright and just um, paint not, not very nice to the eyes. Um, so here's one for the, for the one engine and then there's another one for the other engine and then what I'll do is I'll snake this one down and out through this hole right here, okay? It's pretty damn simple. Um, and like I was saying with the engine, so one of the things I gotta do next is I'm gonna glue these two halves together. Um, and then I bought these backlight um, projection bulbs, okay? Uh, you can get regular halogen bulbs at anywhere, the Home Depot, Target, Walmart, whatever you want. Um, and, uh, but I like these, these backlights, um, these projection bulbs, because uh, they don't have the glass on the face. Like normally there's a glass right there. These do not. So what you do is you get these and you break off, break off this part, whether you use pliers or vice grips or something, and then you can pull this, fill this bulb out. It leaves a little hole. You put an LED inside of there and you glue it in or epoxy it in or whatever the case may be, um, because these are 120 volt bulbs and they're way too hot. So you just put these LEDs in in the back and then it'll light up and put it in and it'll take the place of this bulb right here um i think this is this is, looks gonna look really cool with this a-wing so basically it's you put the bulb in there right like so and then the engine compartment goes right over top and locks that right in place so yeah that's what we're gonna do next um, got a couple of them, two of them to do. This kit's coming along better than I thought. It's not as much, not as much work as I thought it was going to be. A lot of these garage kits are a lot of cutting and cleaning. And I think I was complaining earlier in the video, but, um, I think it's going along pretty well. Uh, all right. Once I get all this done, um, I'm going to glue all this stuff up and, uh, come back and then we'll... This has got to be sand, sand this here. Uh, that's putty. And uh, once I get these glue, sides glue, we'll putty these up and make them look all nice and pretty. And then it's time. Pro I'll probably have to heat these, uh, heat this side up a little bit because it's not really lining up. And just normal glue won't hold that from popping out. So we'll heat it up with some um, boiling water. Boiling water will just melt that right where you want it. And you pour some cold water on and, and you're good to go. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. We'll move on.